Hello guys, so in this tutorial we will learn how to set up a domain name and add, attach it to an application, no JS application, but you can use it with any like PHP or Django uh, and then you can, uh, as long as it can be run on Nginx. So we'll be using Nginx and uh, let's encrypt SSL. And here I have my domain, Mikolai that app, I just bought it, which will be used for my personal portfolio. And what I did is uh, in the name servers, I'm using uh, namecheap.com. I recommend it for domains. Uh, you can see that I changed the name servers to NS1, DigitalOcean.com, NS2, and NS3. And now if I go to dnschecker.com or .org, check the NS settings. I, I did it for like 20 minutes ago to be ready for the video. And you can see that it was propagated in most, the only one is not propagated. But let's go again and everything is propagated. And I also, in on DigitalOcean, uh, my droplet or my networking tab, and then I choose my domain. I added a few uh, A records. This is f uh, for the, for Mikolai that app. This is for www and I connected it to the droplet that I'm using, which is over here. Nikolai that app and I connected it there. All I need to do now is log into the server and I go to CD. Well, not, not exactly. I'm going to say Vim, etc, nginx, sites available and default. And here I have this app. It should be listen ID. And here I will delete all of this and and then here in the server name I will change it to Nikolai that app and www Nikolai that app. That's it. And now save it. And now we start the server. Here we go. And now add the certificate. I, I have certbot ready. If you don't know how to install certbot, I will give you a gist for that i will put it in the description below and here you can see how to do most of this what i'm doing here including including firewall configuring nginx and then here we actually add a third bot for our repository and install it and then you use it like so third bot nginx double dash and then d colar that app and then dash d www micolar that app enter now deploy the certificate now we need to say two for redirection to https and that's it and now let's take a look and now we see our website well that's it guys that's how it looks like and as you can see by the lock it's secure connection is secure and we have our new domain.